I'm making an air combat game with paper airplanes, but wait a second, this is a terrible airplane. What are you talking about? I'm the best paper airplane in the entire world. Let's make some better planes. Since our current plane is terrible, we are going to make three more planes, and we will create a menu to allow players to select the one they want to use. Hey, stop stealing my planes! The first plane is the basic. Yeah, the names I gave to the planes are quite bad, because I don't know how to name things. My name is Space, and I am a mushroom. I couldn't even find a good name for myself. Anyway, the basic is just a basic plane. <laughs> a big improvement from the first plane, which by the way I named the first plane. Yeah, very creative, I know. All the planes that you will see in this video can be created from a single sheet of paper. I want to keep this rule for the future planes as well, but this might change. That's enough about the basic plane. Let me introduce you to what everyone has been waiting for, the classic paper airplane, which I called the classic. Please don't judge me. This is what people think when they hear paper airplane and not this complete disaster. Yeah, half of the video is me roasting my first plane model. You're welcome. Each of the paper airplanes in the game will have different aerodynamics and speeds. I should have done that for this video already, but I was too lazy to do that. <laughs> for now, all the planes that you see will fly in the same way, but I will make their flying styles unique. It's time for my favorite plane. I think this plane is great. Can you guess what I named? it Exactly. The Great Plane is the last of the new models, but I plan to create many more in the future. Each plane will have a version for the player and one for the enemy artificial intelligence. I want different enemy plane models to behave uniquely. The first paper airplane might be stupid and crash into things. It already does, apparently. The basic plane could be slightly smarter, and the great plane could be, well, uh, great or something. Some comments in previous videos suggested a similar approach for the enemy AI, and I think it's a good idea. Now that we have the new planes, we need a menu for players to select the plane they want to use. Haha, <laughs> I got you this time! I want the menu to have a 3D background, and I want it to be one of the rooms of this house. Let me see which one to choose. Uh, no, 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 oh, perfect, so I recreated that room for the main menu and chose a good angle to show it, yeah, it's not bad as long as you don't look outside of the room, but that's not going to happen. The next step is to add some buttons, because a main menu without buttons is uh, like a main menu without buttons. I don't know what I'm talking about. We have the buttons, they look quite bad and don't work at all, but at least we have something. I want to move them to the left of the screen, because I want to place a paper airplane in the middle. So let's move the buttons to the left and add a plane. Something went wrong. This plane is the same size as the room. And you should know that having a paper plane the same size as a bedroom is like having a paper- Stop now or I beat you. Okay, this is Steve by the way. Hello. We now have the paper plane on the desk. Exactly the size I wanted. Not like before. However, we still can't select the plane. Which is a bit of a problem, since that was the main reason for having this menu. So I made the select plane button work. Haha, we can finally pick a plane and use it in the game. Nothing can go wrong now. Oh no, something went wrong again. What happened to the basic plane? Don't look, don't look. If you ignore a bug, it will eventually disappear, right? Let's see if it worked. It didn't. I had to fix the bug myself in Blender and now everything is back to normal. We can work on making the menu less ugly. My idea is to make the menu out of paper. This is what I came up with. I'm not completely sure I like it, but it's not as bad as the old menu, so we'll use this one. One last thing I want to do is zoom in on the plane when you are in plane selection mode. Something like this, but that actually zooms in on the plane instead of uh, whatever it's zooming on now. And here we have it. I think it looks kinda cool. Let me know which plane you like best in the comments. It's probably not going to be this one, let's be honest. So we have a menu and some new planes to use. What's next? I have lots of ideas for this game. Most of them are bad, but some of them are less bad. I first thought about making a single player campaign, but there are a few problems with that. The biggest problem is that I am bad at making campaigns, because I've never done it before and I can't write a good story. I could learn, of course, but I also thought of making this game more replayable. 
playable and less story based. The idea would be to have different kinds of missions with goals that change every time you play, or maybe the enemies will act a bit differently in those missions, I'm not sure yet, but I like the idea of making the game replayable, it will also be helpful if I decide to add a cooperative multiplayer mode. It's too early to decide though, I still need to add some real combat to the game, for now we just have one enemy plane that flies around the map. By the way, I made a video about creating the enemy artificial intelligence, check it out if you are interested. Thanks for watching, goodbye.